The only thing I can really think to say to my haters is, uh, I forgive you. Because... It's not that you're stupid. Well, okay, well, let's back this up. You might be. Ignorance is when you know things. Stupid's when you don't know things. No, see, it's the opposite. See, ignorance is when you don't know things and you proceed not knowing things. So I can forgive that. If you don't know certain things about me and you just make blanket statements and presumptions based on what other people have told you or uh, you make a judgment on me uh, based on some sort of lack of information even after like 500 and something videos on this channel you still don't like me maybe I'm doing something where I'm not putting out enough information so you would because I know the people that like me really well I know my family and I know the people that I instantly have vibe with because they're people that no matter what I say they're never weirded out by it and they're people that are well liked amongst their group of friends and they're not narcissistic assholes it's weird to me if I were a narcissist why are all my friends like either empathic or ambivalent about like bullshit I was friends with Republicans I've been friends with liberals that were at first narrow-minded and then they learned some more about me or what I thought about things and they weren't as narrow-minded and I because of them I didn't uh, have as much narrow-mindedness I was probably more anti-gay than I am now now I just like uh, some dude likes me and he comes up and like would kiss me or something I it would just be like I wouldn't even freak out, you know what I mean? I would just be like, I'm flattered, but uh, we're gonna have to keep this as friends. I would probably even laugh. Because uh, it just, it, it, that kind of thing in like high school would have like weirded me out. But it's like, if you're gay and you hit on me, I just don't fucking care. You know, it's just, you know, your mistake. Uh, by now you should know me enough that I would just accuse you of being kind of rapey. Uh, but at the same time, if you didn't know me and you just like were a dude and you hit on me, who cares? You know, it's just, it's an honest mistake. So if you hate me based on like the 500 videos that you've seen on this channel and you hate me based on like the hundred videos on my previous channel. So you've, if you've seen all 600 of my videos and you still hate me, it's not that you're ignorant, it's that you're stupid. And I, I, I can forgive that too because, well, it's easy to forgive somebody that's ignorant when they have all this information about me and what I stand for and what I think about things and you just, you, uh, you haven't seen everything, you know, you, you don't understand me at all so you don't like me based on lack of information that's easy to forgive when you're stupid and you've seen all 600 of my videos that I have on YouTube and you just don't like me because I wear gel in my hair or you know acne shows up on my face every once in a while that's kind of the thing dudes that are like in their 40s will occasionally get acne it, it you go through sort of a second puberty it happens all the time I just don't like spend a lot of money putting product on my face because it clears up and I'm fine. It just lasts a while. It's cold weather here. If you you hate me based on like some sort of like appearance thing, you're I guess you're a bigot because you don't like uh, the fact that I'm overweight. You don't like that I'm older. You don't like my personality because you don't like people like me. You don't like people that have a sense of humor about people. Uh, uh, that hate me like I, I I watched this video look look it up on YouTube it's from somebody at uh, uh, at the Spokane Community College that has this video called Lucas Warner I love you and it's just this rant for a minute about how she hates me and nobody will ever love me and how I actually am a narcissist and a misogynist uh, based on what exactly just based on somebody's opinion like 
uh, it doesn't matter how much I put out out there, how much I want like a Congress that is men and women, and we have uh, rights for trans people within Congress or that I think that men and women should be treated fair and equal and that I think that Bernie Sanders would create more jobs and I love what uh, AOC has to say about things and really wouldn't mind Elizabeth Warren's presidency and think that uh, if religion really wants to convert people it needs to send out more women missionaries if like after all this shit that I've said in support of women you still think I'm a misogynist you're just doing it to egg me on, and it never works because I watch stuff like that. Google Age Gap Lucas Warner, you'll see something posted like 23 hours ago, and I watched that, I took a breath, and I laughed my ass off. Watch the previous video. It's obviously just bullshit uh, to try to like make me want to kill myself or something. I, I don't know the intention, it never works. It just makes me laugh. So, I mean, if you're stupid, you know enough about me that you're not ignorant. You're stupid because of your upbringing. Or you're stupid because you think that like something that you say that's hateful towards me is going to affect me. And that's your upbringing. That's how you grew up and the people you surround yourself with, which is probably age phobes and corporatist pigs. Or just like degenerate trash losers anyway that can't acknowledge your own hypocrisy. I'll acknowledge my own hypocrisy. I, I mean, I, uh, I buy products from grocery stores and I hate capitalism. I call dudes bitches all the time. I use that misogynistic word. Maybe that's it. Uh, if, if you're rude to me, I call you white trash or a stupid bitch sometimes. But I really don't. Like, I think about it, and I think about, like, well, if I'm in a situation where I call somebody white trash, I might do it on the Internet. You know, she could be black, and I'll just be, well, okay, you're, you're degenerate. You're ghetto trash. You're just trash. I mean, if you're, if you're that hateful and that bigoted towards me that I can't say the word bitch, even, even in reference to, like, a dude being a bitch or a pussy or something, those pussies can take a pounding. So I can't really say that somebody's a pussy. I can say that somebody's a coward. I've approached enough women offline and online to know that like it's it's not really my problem. I'm not saying I'm a genius or Superman. I have literally one aspect that sets me apart from everybody else, sperm telomeres, and my linking it to younger women and how I think this would create stronger DNA in children. And I've posed this to Dan Eisenberg at the University of Washington. So it's just, it, it's my thought. You would say it's my theory, but it's, it's not really a theory because it doesn't have uh, uh, the basis to even be a hypothesis or even a conjecture. It's, a, it's an idea. Would a narcissist say that something that I just said is an idea? I don't think so. A narcissist would say, this is my theory. That's not my theory. It's not scientifically credible enough to be a theory. It's an idea. It's just a thought. It's not even a speculation or a conjecture. It's not at that height. It's just an idea. That's not egomaniacal to say that it's less than a theory, is it? I don't think so. So, I mean, if you're stupid, like you've seen all my videos and you still think I'm the bad guy, you're doing it to impress your friends and to piss me off. And it doesn't piss me off. It just makes me laugh. So it has to do with your upbringing, which wasn't your fault. Or it has to do with who you surround yourself, which isn't your fault. Because you don't know that they're bad people. Because you only see within your little circle. Or within your past. And you don't know where you're going in the future. Or you worship money. And that's all your upbringing. You're not really a Bernie Sanders, Yang, Elizabeth Warren type. And even if you were, you wouldn't be that bigoted and mean-spirited. I mean, if you're out there calling people creeps and retards and, and, you know, homophobic slurs and dropping the N-word all the time, that's all your cultural conditioning from capitalism. And who do you blame for capitalism? Well, I would blame the patriarchy, which would be rich, older males, like in their 60s and 70s. 
billionaires. I would blame the billionaires. I wouldn't blame, like, the proletariat or the bourgeoisie for that. So, I mean, odds are you're not a billionaire and you hate me, but I'm out there saying, well, it's the billionaires that are the problem. And the way that they manipulate culture through marketing. So, if you're stupid, I have to forgive you because it's not really your fault. It's the corporate crony capitalism of rich older dudes forcing you to believe things that the television, radio, or the internet tells you to do. It's like people with all their tattoos. I'm not going to say like, if you have a tattoo, it's a deal breaker for me for dating me. But if you're out there saying nobody's ever going to date me, you're like ignoring how misogynistic most dudes are that get laid. And you're like football players and movie stars and actors and like even professors how misogynistic they are and they still get laid and I'm here like saying that that behavior is kind of like incel -y, even though they're not involuntary celibates the whole misogynistic thing of hip hop and like arena rock and country music I don't really dig I like KMFDM uh, KMFDM and industrial rock usually talks about like prejudice and discrimination and bigotry uh, and P Depeche Mode and stuff like that Nine Inch Nails Deftones that's more my vibe so, I mean, if you're ignorant, it's easy to forgive you. If it's stupid, you have to look at what's causing the problem. And it's indicative of men in power telling you what to believe through marketing. So, I forgive you.